Hello YouTube, today I wanted to present some smart pistons that I did. So basically here's the idea, sometimes you would have a farm that outputs uh, a stream of blocks and it's somewhat wide and you want to push this into a blast chamber somehow. And so yeah, I developed these, uh, these pistons, well, there wouldn't be any there, but it works with uh, any type of block. And yeah, so basically the idea is that we're updating this piston right there because all of this is budded. So if I freeze the game and I put a block there, it's going to basically send an update to this block right there because it's quasi connected by this redstone block there. And then it's going to update this block also, which is also quasi connected. And then this block, and then this block. And it's going to end up activating this piston right there. And this piston has a redstone block above, so it's also quasi connected. And it's going to go up, and then it's going to activate uh, these pistons that are going to push down again. Um, so, yeah push us like that and then it's going to reset itself so this one is decently fast but I also did a wall design right here I only needed uh, three blocks wide um, this one can clock at uh, 12 game ticks so it's slightly slower but it's similar you know um, now this one cannot use um, some quasi-connected uh, pistons for for the bud. So what I ended up using instead is dust redirection at the back. Um, yeah, okay, that's that's the smaller design. Um, so if we redirect the dust, um, it doesn't send a block update. So if I'm going to demonstrate it. In here, um, let's say I do this. Oh, I kind of need to. Okay, so if I break this redstone block, it's going to connect to this piston right there, but the piston doesn't realize that it's being um, powered, so you need to send an update to it, and then you can change the the direction again, and you need to send another update for the piston to realize it's not powered anymore. And that's what I used to make this thing right there. Now I want to credit um, Illegal Melon for this layout um, at the center because I'm stupid and didn't realize that I could do this instead of this. So yeah, it improves the size by just a little bit. And yeah, so here's how it works. I'm going to freeze the game. So when I place a block, it's going to update these pistons that are um, being powered by this redstone dust right there. And then it's going to basically, if these pistons extend, they update these ones. And if these pistons extend, they update these ones. And they're going to reach to this piston either way. And this piston right there is um, quasi powered, so it's going to go up. Um, so yeah, it goes up and the redstone block moves out of the way so that um, the rail there um, changes its state and so it's going to update these pistons right there that were powered by these redstone blocks right there just like that and um, yeah, this piston right there is the only thing I could really figure out that would um, reset the budding for these pistons reli reliably and fast enough. Um, like I said, this thing clocks at 12 ga game takes max. Any faster than this and it's going to fail. So I'm going to do 11 now. And 
it's getting stuck there. So if you want to reset it, we just need to send an update to this piston right there. And it's going to reset. Um, I'm going to let you use schematics in the video description if you want to take a look at that. And otherwise, thanks for watching and bye bye.